from the home of the Mariners since 1999. There's a look at Safeco Field here in Seattle. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Miami Marlins and the Seattle Mariners. It's Mariners baseball, and it comes your way next. Digging in the switch hitter, number 87. He's assuming the role of DH in this interleague matchup. Yeah, Matt, that's one of the funny things about National League teams playing in AL ballparks. All of a sudden, the lineup kind of changes dramatically. But the cool thing is it gets more guys a chance to get some at-bats or time in the field. First offering on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hanniger is there to take it, and that's the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. With that, a look at the batting order for the Marlins. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark, and they score on balls in the gap when you have a run at first base. That's what speed, power. Ready for another chance? Number 87. He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. Hey, let's go, big fell. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. So his remarkable season continues as the Marlins have opened up a 4-1 to one lead. So we'll take one more look, and boy, he just continues to hit the ball out of the ballpark at an alarming rate. What a year. Striding in once again, number 87 comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Squared that one up just a little late. This is the situation where there's a lot of pressure on the infielders if the ball is put in play on the ground. Both the guy at first and at the plate are burners, so a double play is going to be tough. Even getting one out could be a challenge. Come on, big guy. Now a curveball, but he might have flown open a bit. It's one and one. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's hey, always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. One and one. Here it comes. That's in for a base hit and he's two for three. That's a nice piece of hitting. Read what the pitcher is doing to you in the at bat. A pitch away, a pitch away, and then the third one away, and he takes that direction for the hit. Nice job. Digging in once again, number 55. One for two number on his 55. line so far in the game. Hits are now even at four apiece. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Gone! So it's a three-run shot to straightaway right field. Twelve home runs for him now thus far, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing. That was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Digging in to try it again. Number 87. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point.
There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. Legs churning. He's headed for second. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Digging in and looking for more. Number 55. He's two for three and looking for more here. The one and two pitch. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Pop. Looking up. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. His second home run of the game as they've widened this lead to eight now. Wow, that's what a pitcher gets for not putting what he thought was a bad call in the rear view mirror. I think he was still fuming and didn't get the pitch where he wanted it. The result? A reason to be even more mad. Stepping in and ready for Three another shot. Moment. Number 87. And he's got a shot at Number history here, but he'll need a triple to complete the cycle. Line drive to center field. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first out. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. Yeah, that's what you want to do when you're playing on the road. Take it right to the home squad and get a win. Now the pressure is off. If they get one of the next two, the series is theirs. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. Justin Nicolino records his 14th winning decision of the season. Number 45 was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.